All right, John, thank you. You know, with the NHL's condensed schedule, 48 games this year, the players, the coaches, the entire team have to make major adjustments from the time they eat to the time they practice to the time they sleep. Now, the NHL is uh, doing a study with the NHL Players Association about what some are calling widespread use of the sleep aid called Ambien amongst players in the league. We're talking it over with Dr. Ogile uh, from the Clayton Sleep Institute. Ambien is a sleep aid, we know. It's a prescription drug, we know. Not quite a performance performance enhancing drug but it helps them get their rest. Do you like this idea that the NHL is studying the use of this now? I, I'm very excited about Why? the fact they're doing it. Well a couple things. One performance and sleep are clearly tied together so the fact that professional sports and professional athletes are now acknowledging that studying it incorporating it into their tra their treatment regimen and their training regimen is really positive. Um, they wouldn't be doing this if they didn't see it as having mm -hmm. potential improved performance. The other thing is medicines themselves, they're not necessarily good or bad. Medicines are how we utilize them. So the concern that's being expressed here is that there's a reflex to give, there's been reports of people just getting medicines kind of willy-nilly versus in a strategic way as it relates to their sleep cycles and time zone changes. So that's also positive to do things in a more organized, mm -hmm. a scientific way to benefit these athletes who are basically working their job to give them some assistance. What it also says to me, for all of us, is we frequently want to dress like athletes, train yeah. like athletes. Well, here's an area where we can also embrace and incorporate this into our lifestyles. If athletic organizations and athletes themselves are seeing this as being valuable, to how they perform on a daily basis at extremely high levels of performance, it would suggest to me that each of us and our patients could incorporate some of this into how we perform our exercise, mm -hmm. our fitness, and all those sorts of things for our well-being. Uh, not to mention, it is prescription and it is addictive in some cases. Some teams are actually adopting sleep experts to help their players and coaches get through the season. You're seeing this in the NHL? You're seeing it in the National Football League. Um, you saw it with the Canadian Olympic team. They had a sleep expert advising them. Um, we've had conversations with more and more athletes. We not long ago had an NCAA wrestling coach come in who had adopted uh, sleep as a full part of their training regimen. With a it. it's, it's really exciting things. And the dramatic reduction in injuries, infections, and rates of uh, athletes quitting due to att attrition. That is amazing. Isn't that it is exciting? That is really great research. Well, it's, it's, I think, just the beginning of a study like this. Our thanks to Dr. Joseph Ogile from the Clayton Sleep Institute. If you'd like to learn more about it, maybe you're a coach, maybe you want to try to talk to your team about it, go give them a try. We've got a link to their website, fox2now.com, and he also can give you more information on the effects of the sleep aid called Ambien. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. All right, John, back to you.